And Florida State Representative Neil Dunn spent the day touring the damage caused by Tuesday's severe weather. The District 2 representative started in the east end of his congressional district in Taylor County, making his way west to Mariana before ending his journey at ground zero of the tornado on Thomas Drive. News 13's Alex Schley tells us that despite the catastrophic damage, Dunn says the resilience of his constituents never ceases to amaze him. It doesn't matter whether you live in Maine or you, you live in Florida, but uh, Florida, you know, I'm proud to say, has been very resilient. Our people have come back again and again, and they help each other, and, uh, and I've been very proud of that. Well, crews are still working to assess the damage. Dunn says no matter the cost, he will work to help communities rebuild. We're looking at uh, the damage where these tornadoes have touched down here. We haven't got a figure, a dollar and cents figure yet on this, but the good news is no lost lives. Bad news is it's, uh, there's a lot of people hurt and a lot of people homeless. And every time the area is hit by diversity, it seemingly comes back stronger than before. You can build resilient to a hurricane. You can't build resilient to a tornado. Uh, these tornadoes came in and they're going to do damage. We very, very seldom see it, unfortunately. We are seeing it now. We will help all these people uh, build back, and we have programs for that. I can't say yet if we're going to meet the public threshold for damages for FEMA to come in and pay, but we have programs to help everybody. Dunn says he has spoken to many elected representatives, both at the city and state level, all of whom are working to help the affected communities rebound. I think we have a great state delegation, legislative delegation, great state leaders, great local leaders in our counties, in our first responders, our sheriffs, oh my God, great people. So I think we're going to come back all the way. Well, all of those involved will recognize there will need to be a significant period of rebuilds. They are hopeful for the future. Most of my people have been through this ain't their first rodeo, and uh, they are very professional, and they're, you know, they're obviously they're sympathetic with all those who've suffered losses, but they really know what they need to do, and they know what those people need, and people are very accepting and upbeat about it. In Panama City Beach, Alex Schley, News 13, Panhandle Strong. If you or someone you know has been displaced by the storm, we have a list of resources on our website, mypanhandle.com.